Hello, my name is Atlas and I live in Canada and this channel is about 3D printers, RCs and especially circuits. I'm so excited to be with you and show you what I have in those areas. So in today's video, I'll show you what I have set up in my room about 3D printing and what I reuse for my 3D and all this stuff. So let me show you around in my room. And this is my room. And this is my mini 3D printer. It is an Ender 3 from Creality. It works perfectly, actually, and it's nothing much to say about. It's pretty good. It's reliable. It is fast. And the filament I use is a Sonalulu green filament that I like. And I have another one right here that is blue, and it's the same brand from Sonalulu. And I have been upgrading my printer a bit, and I have upgraded the bed, the nozzle cooling thingy, and also so to make my printer get quieter, I made a quietness fan thing. I'm a bobber. So here I have my um, giant plane, my RC plane wing, which um, is right here. And this is an Mini Apprentice S. It's from Spectrum E-Flight and all that. It's very fast. It's big. It's heavy. It's reliable again. And it's got a really strong motor to it. It's electric. And this is the the controller for it, and the controller is the same brand Spectrum DXE. It is giant and it is bigger than my head. And here is the battery that I bought new. It's really good. And here is my discharger on the top white thing. And on the bottom is my charger that came with the plane. So let me show you my little one, the little plane come over here and there's my little plane and this is a very very good plane if you want to have a beginner flight it's it's fast it's also pretty sturdy like if i bend it it doesn't break it's got two dual motors it's got a really small bottom but i'm and it has removable legs, like this one. You can you can do a throw off or even a take off if you plug in. I can't plug it in. So here I have my circuits that I use to do, and they are all really good. So what I use for my power supply, which is um, a um, regulated DC power supply, which if I turn it on, there it is. It's pretty loud, but it's really good. It goes up to 30 volts. I can adjust the um, positive and negative terminal that I have. And also the ground. Here I can show you it has like relays inside it. If you don't know, I'll show you in my next videos what a relay is. And I can turn it up all the way to 31 point 31.62 volts um it was it is really good you can use it for all sorts of stuff it comes with a little thing here two little things that you plug in on this side red to the positive oh no and black to the negative these are little alligator clamps i'll show you in my next video and this you just plug it into your little circuits that i will show you right now and this is the circuit that i've been working on and um yeah it's a bit messy i 
act like I never said that. <laughs> so I have a little fan so I can blow out the bad smoke fumes from my soldering iron and the soldering iron you got to be careful with that it goes up to 400 degrees which here's some of my stuff which i will show you the soldering iron this is my um multimeter here's my oscilloscope here's my battery measure which measures my batteries and the rest is good so this side is my uh, things that I have built. And it's, it's a lot. I have built lots of things like a timer and um, a Christmas tree, which perfectly works. I have a spinny thing. When you spin it, it makes light. So I'll just show you here and I'll spin it. It makes light. It's pretty flashing. I built it my I built all of these myself except for the things that look really good. So like I did not build these two. Neither did I this. But it looks clearly that I built this myself, kind of. Yeah. I built this myself. Works perfectly. I still don't know what it is. <laughs> Joke. And here's my third drawer. I have four. This is my drawer where I have things that I don't need, but the things that I also do. So these are my circuits that I, I am going to do in future videos. Don't get too excited. And they're all very hard to do, so. And here is my last drawer. And it is oh so messy. It is very, very messy, but this is my soldering iron that I was talking about. It's, it's really good. It's, it's, it's good. It, the problem is that this, yeah, comes out. But, tell you how to use your soldering iron in future videos again. And here's my um, glue gun. I use both of my glue gun and my soldering iron at the same plug at the same time. But this is a DeWalt rapid heat uh, thingy. And, well, it's so good. It, it heats up fast. It has a good thing. Heat up ceramic, whatever. And that's about it for my room.